Welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about custom servers getting better. Yes, we did get an update today. We'll be talking about our custom server, what's going on with that, and also the Jade skin picks as we did just get new skin sets today. So as you can see here, uh, we do have the Easter event that's happening on the main servers from March 28th to April 18th. And it happens about every uh, 24 to 38 in-game hours. And this is only for main branch. So normal Rust, I don't think we'll have access to any of these items or the event for custom servers, sadly. But we do have uh, new administration tools now to view entities and delete them, uh, making uh, not only moderation easier, but you know just cleaning up the cheater mess and all that good stuff as well. Uh, we also have the add uh, favorite into the history functionalities in the command list. So if you type in a lot of commands, we can save those. And in the same vein, you can also do that with uh, items that you like to spawn in. Or actually, I think that's what it's talking about. Yeah, command and item list. <laughs> yeah, they are covering the same thing. So I have confirmed that. It is nice. Also, we have new loading screens, which I'm, I'm sure you've seen if you've already logged in today, uh, both for custom servers and for main branch. But here's what's really great. We have new uh, customizable welcome screens for our custom servers. And you can turn that on with a toggle switch inside of G Portal, and then there's also a new field where you actually type out all the stuff that you would like there. I think it's going to help uh, with people finding the right server as well, because like obviously mine's tied into my YouTube channel, so uh, I can always put that there, and that, like that's how you do the memberships, uh, that's how you do the VIP. It all goes through my YouTube channel, so you know it's me, and uh, it's just nice because like we have a lot of copycats out there, so I think this is going to help us kind of uh, rise to the top, and and hopefully people find the server they're looking for. Because uh, we've gotten a quite a few things where people are like, oh, I'm on your server and I got admin abuse. So I was like, uh, that does not happen on our server. So I was like, you're on the wrong server, I promise. Um, so yeah, we do have our server up and running, uh, the J2X Solo Duo Trio. Um, we have all BPs unlocked, we have recyclers, and then we have our anti-cheat that's up and running. And again, if you want VIP, just go to the channel membership and then look under my community tab for the members only post and then just reply there for that. Um, because we had such a crazy update, and this is typically uh, why our, our update window or our wipe window is so wide uh, for update days like this, where um, we were literally waiting since 1 p.m. for the update to come to the server. Like our, our cluster just didn't get it until way later. So like all the clients updated, all the consoles, and our server hadn't. So we're just sitting there waiting. So on days like this, I, it's kind of typical. So that's why I leave such a wide window for update days like this or when they sneak in a patch because it kind of puts us off kilter as far as like our ability to do it quickly <laughs> because it's really out of our hands. So anyways, point is, uh, it's up and running. It should be good to go. Uh, everything's still on time because our window's from like 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. for days like this, but typically it's from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Anyways, we're good to go. All right, so on to the Jade skin picks. Here we go. Uh, we've got, here's the breakdown. So once we do a skin set here to maybe help you whittle it down, uh, I'll have the green tier, one and two picks, and then the orange tier, one and two picks, to kind of break it down if you don't want to get the bundles, because this does kind of add up. I mean, this is essentially $18, almost $19, and about $5. So, you know, it's almost the cost of the game. So, uh, hopefully these breakdowns help you out. So our first skin set is going to be the Augmented Veteran going for 1,800 Rust Coins if you get the whole bundle. Typically, I say if you look at two of these or more, you maybe want to get the bundle. So here's the breakdown. So uh, actually, let's do the, the Road Sign Kilt is going for 425 Rust Coins. It's very nice. There is no glowing parts on this. We have some, uh, some cheeks on the back there. Nice. Uh, the Road Sign Gloves going for 400 RC. I do like these. Again, no glowing parts on this entire set. Uh, the hoodie going for 425 rust coins. I do like the texture that they have for this particular set. I do. It makes you look like a robot. It's beautiful. We have the pants going for 425 rust coins. Uh, same uh, setup or theme as the one prior. It looks kind of Terminator-ish. Terminator? No? No way? Uh, we have the metal chest plate going for 450 rust coins. That's kind of a beefy boy. I do like it quite a bit. Again, uh, all flat at nighttime. No, no, no flashes of light. No lightning bug effect. And then we have the metal face mask going for 450 rust coins. Here's a nice little pattern in the back. The Matrix? Okay, so green tier is going to be, I don't think it's going to be any surprise, green tier first pick is going to be the metal face mask for 450 rust coins. 
I, again, I like these metal face plates. Uh, they just go nicely with almost any other set. And again, this is like mid to late game, more probably late game. Uh, but this is a nice set to have because it, it's just it, it more neutral-ish color, so it's going to work with a lot of other sets. Uh, the green second pick, green tier second pick, is going to be the metal chest plate for the same reasons. Uh, it does match the set itself, but again, you can also mix and match this with many other sets because it looks very sharp. And you don't really have to worry about that visibility problem. Sometimes that's what you're looking for, but a lot of people, if you're trying to, you know, if you're a smaller group, you don't typically want to be going in uh, big boy action, you know, uh, lights a-blazing. Anyways, uh, on to the next, we have the orange tier. First pick is going to be the roadside kilt uh, for much of the same reason. But again, I find that usually the metal face and the chest plate go together, but then the kilt kind of gets put off to the side. Uh, but you can also mix and match this if you don't have the chest plate or the face mask for this. Again, neutral colors making this look really, really sharp. I do like those details on the side. It looks really sharp. So that is the orange tier first pick. And now we have the orange tier second pick, uh, the gloves. I think this is also a, a just a really nice accent piece. I think with those materials, this really will set off almost any other uh, set or collection that you do have. So if you're in the market and you do like this type of, uh, uh, what is this, items, not deployables, but uh, armor and such, I think this is a, a, a definitely a good set. And hopefully those breakdowns there help you out. Okay, so on to the next one. Uh, clearly this is very uh, seasonal driven here. We have the Rabbit's Revenge Veteran going for 1,890 Rust Coins. Again, same rules uh, apply if you're looking at two or more. You probably want to go into the, uh, to the whole bundle. All right, so here's the breakdown. We have M249 going for 450 Rust Coins. I do like... It's very Diva-esque. Am I right? A little bit, right? Just a little bit. It's not bad. It's going for, what is this, 450 Rust Coins, the M249. Uh, we have the Leather Gloves going for 450 Rust Coins. We have the Hoodie going for 450 Rust Coins. Is this a robotic Eggman? I do like the Egg Backpack. By the way, I want backpacks in this game. Anybody else? We have the pants going for 450 RC. I do like the tail on the back. That's kind of funny, right? Uh, we have the metal chest plate going for 450 rust coins. And we have the metal face plate going for 450 rust coins. Now, uh, I think to change this up, and this is going to be a little weird, so the, the green... Well, I guess it's changing it up for me. The green first pick, green tier first pick, is going to be the metal face mask again. Uh, it's just kind of a nice goofy mask that, again, will go with almost anything you have. Uh, usually the accent pieces are typically around the face mask for uh, mostly our team and anybody else that I've run into. But I don't know, maybe it's different for you. So the green tier second pick out of rarity is going to be the M249 uh, for 450 rust coins. So uh, green tier secondary pick is going to be... Uh, the Diva clone. That's what I'm calling it. And uh, for the orange <laughs> first orange tier first pick, we have the hoodie going for 450 rust coins because I do like it on the breastplate. There's again not no flashy parts on here, and this is like a nice accent piece that comes out from behind your uh, your armor, whatever. I even if you're road sign or if you're metal, so. And then the orange tier secondary pick is going to be the pants to match it up with the hoodie. Again, really nice. Uh, these more stick out than anything because it's not uh, covered by armor as much if you're wearing something like a kilt. All right, on to our last set that we have here. We have the Easter Gifts Cash going for 460 Rust Coins. Uh, the cheapest set, but again, if you're looking for deployables and you need some more labeled boxes, this is a good set to just completely pick up. Like, just grab the whole thing because it's, it's a steal, right? All of these are the same price. We have the sulfur box going for 110. Again, no glowing parts. We have the large, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the large wooden box. This is the metal box for the Easter gifts. It has a, a red ribbon, 110. We have the wood box going for 110. Same idea here. And is I think these are eggs on the top that they're they're slightly modifying, if I'm not mistaken. Wooden eggs, yes. Uh, we have charcoal eggs now. Kind of looks like berries to me. Or, I'm sorry, is this charcoal? This is stone. Ooh, see what I mean? 
they just look like uh, rotten berries. We have the stone box going for 110. We have the scrap box that's green going for 110 as well. And the well, this is the charcoal box going for 110. See, I think it's very hard to tell what it is. Anybody else? I mean, it's okay. So essentially what you're looking for is uh, long short side identifier. So you've got the color here, so you know it's charcoal. It has the label on the short side, and on the top you have the colors to also coordinate with that. So it's very functional. It may not be exactly what you want right now, but again, if you don't have any, like, boxes to help you delineate between, like, where your scrappies are at or, you know, your sulfur, etc., uh, these are not bad to pick up. So the green tier first pick is going to be... Um, the sulfur box, the yellow trim. The green secondary pick is going to be the metal box, the red ribbon across the side. And the orange tier is going to be, let's see if I get this right, orange tier is going to be, is this the stone one? Orange tier first pick is going to be the stone box for 110. Again, if you decide to break it up, but I would say probably get the full set if you want to. And then orange secondary pick is going to be the wooden box. Again, because these are things that are highly functional, you're going to get these almost during every wipe. I guess unless you're just rolling solo and living out of stashes, but still, I think these are quite functional if you decide to break them down into the smaller pieces. Now, I don't remember what these are off top, but this one's quite functional. These are the special items here on the side, and these should be up for another week or so. And what's interesting is this white set here actually was a full set for us uh, last set. Uh, you have to buy these individually now. So if you're looking for a good camo uh, for like mid to late game type stuff, all of these are good, but you have to buy them individually this time. But these should only be lasting for another week or so. Uh, the Eagle LR is beautiful America. I do like this one quite a bit. Again, this is a nice one, too, because you can go right to Bandit Camp if you have enough scrap and just buy it. I think the most functional, uh, because the improvised balaclava is so common, uh, this does have the camo piece, so it helps just hide your face. If you're kneeling in a bush and you have some of that other, like, sniper gear, this is very, very effective, just putting that out there. It's good. All right, so that's the skin, uh, the jade skin picks, excuse me, the breakdown. Hopefully the custom servers are up and running. We'll be sure to drop messages in our Discord and also on the server itself. So if there's any problems or hiccups, we'll try to let everybody know. And also, if you are looking for, hey, are tugboats going to be a thing for this next big update that's going to be happening on PTB, what is it, late April? Uh, be sure to check out uh, the tugboat video that I just did. Uh, and I'll go ahead and link it now. It should already be up on the end screen. And hopefully we'll see you on the custom server or on our live streams or the next video. Love you. Bye.